I am so excited about the opportunities for the retro industry. This is a unique time in the history of our nation where we can link a climate initiative to workforce development. You know, the average gas car emits somewhere around six to 12 uh, tons of CO2 per year. So converting 500 million cars that are on the roads to electric drive could have a profound impact on climate change. We take that on the one hand and then recognize that there are only a few hundred people that actually know how to convert a fuel car to an electric drive car and do it correctly. And so to convert 500 million cars, we easily need one to two million new, new technicians trained in this skill. So what could be better? An initiative that would probably reduce more carbon than anything that we've ever done with the need for high wage jobs. Entry starting salaries in this whole retro field that's just being established now are gonna begin at about $50,000. I'm sitting here in Atlanta where the average wage in a poor neighborhood is around $28,000. So this is an industry that if we can bring our young kids in our returning citizens in, our underemployed in, and teach them this valuable skill that's directly linked to climate reduction, I think it's gonna be fantastic. Retrobag Cedar is gonna lead that effort. We're the first to establish a training program that actually is tied to what's called a stackable credential. We're developing new technology that's really gonna drive this retro business forward. We have a new operating system that we call the REVOS system, Retro Electric Vehicle Operating System. And what it's designed to do is to provide an older automobile the same smarts, the same capabilities as a new electric car. So you'll see us introducing touchscreens into our retrofits and other types of LiDAR and things like that that make these cars really smart. So we're out to make what's old new again we're out to be the most significant carbon reduction company in the world because if we play a leading role in converting these gas cars to electric drive, then we're going to be just that. We're going to be responsible for reducing more carbon than virtually any other initiative out there, and we're proud of that. We're also reimagining how cars should be made. We believe that gone are the days of the long manufacturing line where every person just does one little thing in the process of making a car. Our design, clean spaces, industrial lofts, chic, upscale, comfortable places to work where four or five people work as a crew, what we call a bay team, to transform cars from gas to electric. We believe this is a bright future. We believe that the majority of our communities are going to be so excited about this new field of high paying uh, technical work. We're excited about being able to tie uh, this, this, this NFT initiative that we have to climate reduction. So retro bag cedar, we're doing a lot. We expect to continue to lead this industry. Uh, we're asking for support. Right now we're running an NFT workforce development uh, campaign where we're trying to raise money to make sure that the underserved have access to this training in this new and vital industry. So welcome to our website, welcome to our company, and we look forward to your support. And please follow us on social media and come learn more about this vital retrofitting industry that is going to help us deal with the other end of the electric car revolution. So the new cars are great, and they're doing their part to reduce carbon. Now, let's go do something about 500 million old cars that are on the world's roads. We hope you'll help.